morning, good afternoon, hello, good evening to everyone. It's great to see such a diverse ge geographically located group on the call today. So my name is Mark Spinolio. I am with the Florida High Tech Corridor, which manages a, a cluster, a structured cluster of companies within the life science ecosystem in Central Florida. I, Andy, I will try to respect the time. It'll be challenging, but I will try. All right, so just quickly here, Central Florida, where are we located? Most of you, I'm sure, know where Florida is. We're in the southeast region of the United States. And, and so we're surrounded. We have the Atlantic Ocean on one side, Gulf of Mexico on the other. And Central Florida is what we call, in Florida, we call it the corridor. It's the region in the middle of Florida that goes from the Atlantic to the Gulf of Mexico. And my organization is a nonprofit, the Florida High Tech Corridor. And we're, we're strategically tied to three of the largest uh, research institutes in the United States, universities, which are University of Central Florida, University of South Florida, and University of Florida. Together, they represent more than 150,000 students in the in Central Florida region. And part of our interaction with them is that we help fund the uh, <clears throat> collaborations between industry and research teams within these universities primarily. And so we provide matching grants over dec for several decades now. So that's enabled us to establish a well, very good network within the industry and a good network within the research community as well. And because of that, we manage uh, a well. We manage four clusters, um, organized clusters of companies within Central Florida. And Central Florida, in at least in the United States, is well known for its modeling, simulation, and training, and its tourism and hospita hospitality. You may know uh, Disney World is located in the Orlando area in Central Florida. And so it's important for us, and it's important for Orange County, which is our major funder of our cluster initiative, to bring to light strong industry sectors or ecosystems that we have in Central Florida, one of those being the life science. And when we talk about life science, we apply a very broad definition of life science here. OK, so this includes digital health and so forth. Um, and so it's important for us because we have such a strong base here in Florida that we are trying to make these clusters or these ecosystems known nationally and internationally. In particular, with life science, <clears throat> we, we provide several services. And I think what's important for this group today is that uh, <clears throat> what we do as a cluster, our cluster, if you think of cluster management organizations, Ours is very much modeled on the Europe, what's done in Europe on the cluster perspective. So we represent a large group of companies within the life science ecosystem in Central Florida. And we also assist companies from abroad who are interested in entering the United States in soft landing or establishing a presence in the United States or collaborating with companies in the United States. We assist them. And what I've done is I've highlighted at the bottom their collaborations, tailored connections, matchmaking opportunities. So in the last few years that we've had our cluster organization established. We've seen a strong interest from companies abroad interested in these services and working through us. And what we do is we do handholding that we, we help them uh, meet up with, with stakeholders within the ecosystem. And we've identified and mapped over 150 stakeholders that are relevant to what we call life science related companies. Okay. And so there's a lot of, uh, uh, public and private entities that are well established to assist companies in establishing a foothold in the U.S. market through Central Florida. And when we look at Central Florida from a life science ecosystem perspective, there are six of the 50 largest U.S. hospitals are located within a 200 mile radius of Orlando. We call Orlando as the central point of, of Central Florida. Okay, highest concentration of companies in Central Florida are in Orlando. Um, Two of the largest health system providers, uh, which Advent Health and Orlando Health are, are headquartered in the Orlando area. And just looking at Orange County, uh, which is one of 23 counties within Central Florida, there are over 7,000 employed in the life sciences and healthcare sector. So we have a very strong, very large uh, community there in the life science ecosystem in Central Florida. And what we're finding is that we are attracting companies from abroad who will, who are who know other areas of the U.S. that are uh, famous for life sciences. Um, and when they see the, what we offer in Florida, especially from a business environment perspective and from a strong ecosystem in the life science area, that they're attracted to come to Florida as, as a starting point for the U.S. market. And when they're also attracted to Florida for other reasons. Um, but before I get into that, this is just a, a snapshot of companies that we have 
in, in Central Florida. I just want to highlight one here, Protein Biodiagnostics. They're a company that specializes in clinical trials. They've worked with companies in Europe and abroad. Um, and, and so they're an excellent company to work with. And they've, and we've had interest from European companies to partner with them on Horizon Europe, for example. Okay. And so to close, um, what I see is very unique. Since I, I work more on the international side on behalf of, of the life science ecosystem in Central Florida, what I see as unique opportunities are twofold. One is cluster, cross cluster collaborations. Because we manage several clusters, as I showed previous slide, four with a semiconductor cluster that we're bringing on board over the next few years, we see opportunities for our companies and other ecosystems to collaborate with companies within the life science ecosystem that we manage. And so that's that's been huge for us. Um, that, and that's been a strong opportunity for us that we bring to our companies and that we bring to companies abroad. And so as you look at, at Central Florida, please keep in mind that you may have companies in life science health sector that may relate to our energy companies, may relate to our learning science companies or gaming companies, for example. Um, and so we see that that's, that's something that's very attractive for companies that are interested in, in partnering with us. From an international collaboration perspective, uh, Horizon Europe, seeing a lot of opportunity there because of the agreement between European Commission and National Institutes of Health, which you may be aware of, U.S. companies can be fully funded under Horizon Europe projects under the health program. Um, I've worked in framework programs since framework program four. So I have a lot of experience in that and assisting U.S. companies in those programs. And so we have opportunities here. We've already been approached by, by, um, by uh, um, co coordinators developing proposals under health, under the health program in Horizon Europe to, for our companies to partner with them. So that's huge. Also in NIH, because of the agreement, European companies can partner on projects under NIH funding with under full funding with no restrictions as well. So those are opportunities that I see that are available to us. Um, I apologize because I put my email on the first slide. So uh, please go to the first slide for my email, but very nice to meet all of you. Happy to discuss any opportunities with you and looking forward to the discussions.